I learned something today. How to automate the volume on a group channel in Cubase. I assumed it would be the same as a any audio track or MIDI track. It's not. But I'll show you the difference. All right, so on, uh, say, this MIDI track right here, if I just click the Read Automation and come down here, Show Automation, creates an automation lane. First thing selected is the volume. I can select anything else in here or go to more, and I've got all these options in here. That's great. On a, let me undo that. Hide automation. On a group channel, it's not that way. Oops, went up. All right. So on a group channel, if you click read automation, and you come to show automation, creates an automation lane right here. First thing selected is mute, not volume. <laughs> so, like anyone else, you'll come into this list and you're looking, you know, at things you can automate. Volume's not listed, so let's select more, maybe. Whoa, way over here. All right, and then volume. Okay, cool. That's the one I want. Okay, but look here, it didn't change it. It's still on mute. Let's go to more. Let's click, like, say, linked panner. Okay, back up it changed. We can automate that, but we can't do volume for some reason on this one. I don't even know why it's an option. <laughs> um, so here's the trick. This lane right here, like on any effects, I mean any group channel, it automatically creates a volume automation lane for you. So you don't have to click show automation and select volume. Um, you just have to come to the track, select it, click read automation, and then right here, this is the volume automation lane. As you can see by the volume going up and down as I'm moving the cursor. Woo! All right. So it's just not labeled volume. I don't know why. Uh, it's a bit confusing. It's, once, you, once you understand it, it's a lot quicker. It's awesome, but it's just not labeled, and it's different from the uh, regular audio track or mini track. So anyway, hope that helps you guys out, and yeah, all right, bye. <laughs>